Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. In this video, we will learn about the context API. What is this context API? So, when we will be using this context API? So, context API provides a way to pass data through the component tree. Okay, so if you want to pass a data through the components, so context provides a way for that one. So, without having to pass props down manually to every level, so context will provide a way to pass the data between the components. Normally in React, React application, what we will be doing, so we will be passing the data top to down using the props, right? So, but this can be complex if those props are required to many components. So, for example, if you are trying to pass in the application to many components, the so children, children, children component, so you need to pass from the parent to bottom of the children to pass, we need to pass these props. So, this could be a complex thing. Uh, not a complex and tedious thing. So we need to pass every props to each each and every child component. So for this reason, context provides the way to share the values between the components. So there will be no need of passing the props to every level of the component. Okay. So the, in, in this place, so the context provides a way to share the values. So when to use this context? So context is designed that when it is designed to share the data which is considered as global for React. So the context data is nothing but what we can do is so what it is is nothing but so if you are having a data which is global between all the components so you will be using the data between across the components everywhere means so you can use this context okay for example what we can say is the authenticated user the theme name or the language preference so selecting the language english or espanol whatever the language if you are having the website this is the global so if you want to have this uh, data uh, should be present across the components means we will be using the context you will be saving the data in the context so this is the context if you try to see here in the react js okay if i open the react js here you will be able to see the context so let's go to the docs and in the advanced guys guides we will be able to see the context okay so this is the context so how we will be using the context right so we, uh, first we will try to see Without context, how we can you do and now with using the context, how we can do, we let's try to see. For example, here I am having the app.js, right? So here I let's me let me open the app.js. So this is the app.js I am having. Let me have a sidebar. So now I will create a side sidebar component. Okay. Here I will here I will create the sidebar. Okay. So here I will create a sidebar sidebar.js okay now here let me create class sidebar okay extends component so we can export default this one so export default class sidebar extends component let's import this component from the react so it will be imported from the react now you'll, here i will be having a render method and here i will be having some div and here in the sidebar i need to show a navigation okay so now let let's create a, another component that is the name navigation navigation here i will be creating navigation dot js file so in the same scenario export default class export default class extends extends component and here i will be having the render and here i also will be returning okay let's try to see i will return the anchor link or something like this okay so lila web dev whatever the name i want i can design okay so this is the concept okay so now we are rendering here export default class extends component i am importing here okay it is showing error okay we we, we didn't define this one export default class navigation extends component okay so this is the navigation and this is the sidebar so now we have the sidebar and here i am using this navigation component navigation okay and here in the app.js i want to show the navigation so how can i show here let's try to add div 
class is equal to flex okay here i will be having one div and another div so here it will be of type class name and this one will be of type class name is equal to w hyphen 1 by 5 i will be using w hyphen 1 fifth of the screen so here i will be using this sidebar okay and this post will be inside this one so i can push it to inside this one so this is the so here this one will be w hyphen 4 by 5 fifth part so let's try to see the output how it will look if i try to see the output see here we are able to see the sidebar for this one okay so now this is the sidebar so here we are having the sidebar and all the data is displayed here so this is the thing what i what i mean to design so now we are having a sidebar in this sidebar we are having we will be having so many things first one will be the navigation so we need to display the navigation something like this let's assume okay so now here the name the name the, the leela web dev name is there right so it should it should return it from it should come from the app.js let's assume so what i need to do i need to add leela web dev here okay leela web dev here and this one is it's passed to sidebar and i again need to pass it to this dot props dot name and again i need to pass it to here and here i can use this name right this is the process actually generally what we'll be having this dot props dot name so we need to pass each and every level we need to pass it so here we are able to see the lila web dev so this could be a tedious for example if you're having more and more components so intermediate component the sidebar there is no there is nothing not no, no need to do anything with the props so but we are unless we are we need to pass it to app.js to sidebar sidebar to navigation so navigation is the second most child for this app.js so to use that one so in order not to pass directly like this so whatever the components inside the sidebar the navigation everything whatever you have so in order to use this one we'll be using the context thing so how to use this context let's go to here and let's design one new folder context okay in this context i am creating one new file that is nothing but the button context okay button context dot js okay so this is a simple thing so what i can do context button context is equal to react so react we need to use the react and here we need to import it okay import react from react we need to import it from the react and here i need to use on react dot create context you'll be able to see here create context okay so we need to import this one export default button context okay so we we have exported this one so let's assume so now we have created a button context here so the data whatever the data you want you can create it so here we have created a button context and now we need to use this context so for where we need to use this in the sidebar so how we can we use here so here i can write a tag something like button context okay we need to import it here dot provider you'll be having provider okay so now we need to wrap this component which whatever the components inside these components we will be using so we need to wrap it here and we need to provide a value value is equal to okay so leela web dev context or something like this so in order to know okay we need to pass a value for this one now directly we can remove this one okay so now the sidebar there is no need to use this sidebar okay so in the navigation we want to use this context right so now we have created a context provider so in this sidebar what are the components present inside this sidebar can make use of this value so this can be state from the state it, it can come anywhere now here in the navigation what i need to do is i need to use static okay so this is the fixed name context type so here we need to give button context what is the context we are, we are trying to use it here and here directly we can write this dot context okay that's it so now if i try to see the output see here i am able to use this leela web dev context so now the data is coming directly from the <coughs> app.js okay so what this one will do is so this context type will take to try to take the value of the button context closely available okay the closely available tag it will try to take 
the closely available value it will try to take for example here in the app.js what it is having button context dot provider value is equal to we are providing this value so that means we are going to the sidebar the sidebar is not using so if it want to use you can you can mention the static variable context type and you can use it or otherwise so uh, automatically the inside the navigation this one will be using so now here the sidebar again changed here so for example button context here also it will be having button context dot provider value is equal to navigation context value or something like this i have given so now this button context it is there here so now which one it will it will try to display it will try to display this navigation context value if you try to see here it will be able to you will be able to see the navigation context value right so that means the nav the here the bo the button context what it will try to try track is it will try to track to the upper components to the parent components and it will see the closest possible the context whichever it is available the provider it is providing so here the sidebar itself is providing so that's why it will stop here and it will take the value of this one if it is not provided means it will go to the parent of this one that is nothing but app.js here it will try to check for the provider okay so this is how the button button uh, the context context api will work so if you want to provide so when we will be using this context api so if you want to provide the data across the components so then we will be trying to use the context thing so normally what we can say is so here the context api so where where it will be mainly useful is for the language preference for the authenticated users from theme name for all this thing it will be useful okay so now this is this is about the context api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.